I, I found it really uh, offensive and intellectually uh, dishonest to send to my home, to my funeral home, to my neighbors, my vis- my friends that live in East St. Louis, Centerville, Alton, Lovejoy, Washington Park, Cahokia, one set of advertisements that was directly aimed. I, I, this morning, I'm in my office at 7.30 at my funeral home at 2114 Missouri Avenue, and I saw an ad that showed a picture of the president of the United States, and then another one that said, Michelle and I want you all to vote for blankety blank. And I'm going, there is no way in the world that that ad would be run in Smithton. That ad would be run in uh, Summerfield. That ad would be run in New Athens, in Muscoota, in Millstadt. But they want to insult my neighbors and the persons that live in the community that I'm from by sending that ad like every black person is an idiot. And more insulting is the racial aspect, the divide and conquer. I have been all throughout St. Clair County, and I've been to a lot of places with you, Bob. The one thing that I'm proud of, as many many other things that I'm proud of, is that you and I say the same thing, whether we're in Summerfield That's right. or whether we're in East St. Louis. We don't have a story for the black folks. We got a story for the white folks. We don't have a story for the fat folks and a story for the skinny folks. We have the same story, and that is the St. Clair County Freedom Coalition for the Democrat, and they got the ad in the East St. Louis Monitor. You can go online and look at it. And I, and I would I would admonish all of the persons, black and white, in St. Clair County, take a look at this day's East St. Louis Monitor newspaper, and it says clearly these ads are being placed by the St. Clair County Democratic Organization. Now, if that's not a racist, discriminatory advertising, you're either insulting your black voters or your white voters or both at the same time. Either you are for something or you're against it. But why would you want to continue to separate the races? We got enough problems and have all this silly mess. And I guarantee you, St. Clair County, President Barack Obama does not care about the recorder of deeds in St. Clair County. They're going to record your house deed. Amanda Ruoco will record the deed. Uh, I guarantee you, the same way that Mike Costello will record it, I guarantee you that Gary Cornwell will audit the books a whole lot better than the present auditor, because right now, Roger and I and you, nobody will know what's going on because we haven't had a decent audit. And LaNina Kaysen has been a qualified judge. Ed Cockrell is probably the most accessible public uh, servant that I've ever met. And finally, uh, with, with, with Roger Cook and you together, I don't believe that there's any way that we won't be able to get the Mid-America Airport a Straight decent out. deal for the taxpayers of St. Clair County. I, I believe this, Bob. Um, maybe tomorrow morning we can talk about the coroner's office, but I believe this as sure as I'm sitting here. We're going to win this election. We're going to win it because these people have gone to a new low by letting, by telling people in my community who were convicted of certain crimes that they're going to expunge their record. You know as well as I do. They're they're lying to them as sure as I'm sitting here. There's no way in the world they can expunge those records and have them ready and up and ready to vote on November the 8th. But they're going to vote them under somebody else's name. I know what I'm talking about. They're going to go into certain precincts in East St. Louis. People that I have buried at my cemetery over the last 30 years will be voting November the 8th if they're not already voting. And the culture of corruption knows exactly where those people are because they know exactly how to vote them and they got commitment in line to do it.